Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Jim Morgenstern coming at you from Rubber City Chiropractic South today. And man, oh man, it's good to be back. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I got a good one for you today for the muscles of your lower back right above your pelvis, okay? So what we're looking at here is an area right above our pelvic bone, right where the shorts kind of lead off here, but underneath this border where my fingers are, because that's where the lower ribs are. So what we're gonna be working on is an area on the lower back here or here, being sure to stay just lateral to the spine, okay? This area is called the QL, and what it is, it's the quadratus lumborum, and we're using a tennis ball today, something that has some forgiveness when we go to release that, okay? Had a couple people come in today, sit all day, some police officers, um, you know, they're sitting in their, in their cars all day, some people who maybe sit behind a desk or stand behind a desk all day, um, and then we have some athletes who've been running and maybe getting into too much of an extended position, all can wreak havoc on the lower back. Yes, they can also wreak havoc on the hip flexors and the glutes, but today what we're gonna focus on is just kind of releasing that piece of the lower back that I just showed you. So what I'd like you to get in is a supine position on your back, and we prefer the knees to be over the hips here, and we're just gonna bridge up and place the ball on the lower back of the side that's bothering you, and then we're gonna do the side that's not bothering you, okay? What I did here is I've got a box. If you don't have a box, you can put your feet up on the wall too, but we just wanna kind of bridge up our pelvis so we can let the lower back and the ball meet. So the first thing we wanna do when we're releasing some tight muscles is we wanna add the breath. So we're gonna take a four second inhale together, big breath in, hold for four, and let go for eight. My oh my, does that feel awful, awfully good. If you guys can, you can start to work back and forth to find what part of that tenderloin, if you will, what part of that muscle feels like it needs the most attention. You can have the ball in one place, but you might need to move it up or down an inch to truly feel what part you need to work on. These are big, strong, stabilizing muscles, guys, so you're not gonna hurt them, but I want you guys to be easy. So please, use the tennis ball first, and then you can scale up to a lacrosse ball if you need to. So again, we're gonna enter the breath in, four seconds in. Hold, and out for eight. After you've done that for a minute or two, we're gonna to start to add flexion at the hip by bringing the knee closer to the chest. So get as far as you can get, okay? And then we're gonna take a new breath in. Hold, and exhale for eight. As you exhale, see how close the knee can get to your chest effortlessly. Don't force it. One more breath. Hold. Exhale. Good. You can repeat that for another minute or two. And then what I'd like you guys to do is come back down, remove the ball, and just play around with how much more room you have in front of this hip and along the back fascia line, okay? You should be able to move that knee around closer to your chest or your armpit pretty darn easy, okay? I'll tell you right now, one of the easiest things that you can notice is when you come back up, you can feel how much more range of motion you have on that backside that you just worked on, okay? So what I'd say is keep it real simple, minute or two with just the breathing, another minute or two when you add the, the movement at the hip as well as the breathing, and see how great you feel, and then go ahead and do the other side, okay? When it comes to mobility drills, consistency is key, okay? I want you guys to do just little doses throughout the day, but roll that into a week, roll that into a month, and then really assess and see how much it's helping you, okay? Sometimes I feel so good after doing these, I'm guilty like everybody else, that we kind of forget to do what got us to the point of feeling good, okay? So stay consistent, see how great you feel, and let me know. I always appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for watching today. And uh, send me some messages too for the next area you guys wanna cover. This is the first video that we've done in a good while, so it feels good to get back, so let's keep this momentum going, okay? Also guys, tune into my weekly podcast with Dr. Banks. It's called Optimal Function. It's optimal and then function is spelled F-N-X-N. We got Instagram, we have Facebook, we have YouTube. All of our podcasts are uploaded weekly to iTunes and all the other um, different podcast um, landing pages. And then we also video record those too, so they're on our YouTube page. They might be broken down into three or four videos, but that will cover the full episode that we've done. And we're actually up to the point now where we'll be recording episode 10 tomorrow. Um, today's Thursday, so we'll record tomorrow.
tomorrow and Friday, and then they're usually out the next Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of the following week. So keep the good um, tidbits coming there too. Um, we have a portion of the show we call Ask the Docs, and you guys have done awesome sending in topics. So hopefully we continue to cover the things that you're looking forward to. Other than that, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all later. Dr. Jim, signing off. See you guys.